Hello guys, KP Shamino here with a new video for Russian Fishing 4 and uh, I'm going to say to you guys my tips and tricks to not lose a fish. So first of all, uh, I think sometimes you're always going to lose a fish for the simple reason that we got quality stars on the hooks and otherwise they would be pointless. So if a star one with certain technique always going to give you fish uh, against star four, yeah, there is no reason there are stars in the game, I think. That's my impression. So I did some testing with fish. Uh, I had a fish. I had tension up. I did all the tricks that I know. And after some time, he just lose. So I think at some point, sometimes you hook a fish and, and you are always going to lose it. I think it's just in the program. Because, yeah, with the quality. Otherwise, it's, it's totally pointless, the quality. But I'm going to show you guys my tips and tricks. Is that all what you can do? I don't think so. Because I need to discover everything by myself. I just need to check uh, uh, my gear. I just need to check uh, my hooks. I need to test it the whole time. So I did some testing on Kyoro Lake. And something what happened previous week. You guys saw my video, 800 silver. I got in three days. I didn't miss one fish. And I started to think, what did I do? Uh, yeah, different. I repaired my friction brake. So that was really strange. So at number one is friction brake. Simple. Uh, you, are, you are going to get more fish if your friction brake is not uh, weared out that much. So I started. Let's have a look. So this friction brake was uh, at 5% damage. And the other one was at... Uh, let me have a look. Was at, uh, no, it's the same one. This one, what I'm doing now. So, let's have a look. This one was totally repaired. So, and I didn't miss one fish. So, I think normally I repair my friction brake around 15% to 20%. And I think that's the number that you need to repair it. One of the, f yeah, a lot of people forget that. But I think friction brake is uh, the number one in losing fish. So, I think if this is damaged a lot, you are going to lose a lot of fish. Because I think... If they, they uh, yeah, pull some action on your line and your friction brake is damaged, uh, you are going to get slack on your line. And that's why I think that, uh, that you are going to lose fish. So that's my number one. Be sure that your friction brake is repaired. Then another thing, of course, quality of the hooks. The higher the quality, uh, the, the less chance you are going to have that the fish get away. That's simple. How can you see it? It's very simple. It's a star system. So I'm going to show it on my uh, lures. Let's get all. So you can now see it on lures. So if you click here on the Funky Mino and you see here. Uh, yeah, here you can of course not see it. I think you need to go to the, to the shop. So let's go to the shop because I don't think that you can see it in your inventory. So let's go to the shop. So the higher the quality, the less chance you got to lose a fish. That's how it is. So let's go to hooks. Oh, my bottle of uh, water is exploding. Okay, so if you click on a hook, you see here stars. That's the quality of the hook. So the better the stars, the more stars you have, the better the quality. And the, the less chance you have to lose a fish. Simple. So that's number two. Then another thing that I saw. And uh, that's... Uh, Yes, yeah, something very funny. So it seems if you go a little bit too high with your drag. I cannot speak about too low with your drag. I think you cannot go too low with your drag. But I lose a lot of fish when my drag is very high. So what do I mean with it? And I need to check for a moment because ah, I got my spinning rods on. So the drag, I fished always with 29. So the maximum strength on the line it, yeah, if your setup is good, you are not going to break shit. I don't understand why people always go with 10. <laughs> because, yeah, there is no problem, you know. If your setup is good, don't be afraid. I went always like that. And I got the impression that I lose a lot of fish. So the last week, once again, the 800 silver in Kyoro, uh, I went with Drecht 22. And it was perfect. So I think that uh, if your drag is too high, once again, you put too much pressure on the fish. And the chance that the, that the fish uh, get loose is a lot higher. So I always go with my magic number 22. It depends, of course, of the real two. But I never go higher anymore than 22. And it works really well. It takes a little bit longer to get the fish in. But I got less chance that the fish get away. Okay, that's my number uh, three. So then number four, 
very easy. So never point your rod to a fish. So I still remember when I went fishing. So if you got a snag, how do you break a line? That's with pointing like this and pull on the line that the line breaks. So if you do that system, all the, the, the strength is coming to your line and not your rod. So what you always need to do is, for example, I will, I will throw this in the water. So for example, the fish is now fighting, it is going away. Always keep your rod right away from the fish or left. Never do this. Because on that moment, he's going to get away. I al you always go to see in a video, if I get a fish, my rod is always right or left from the fish. Very important. So that's my tip number four. Then another very important thing is, because you lose most of the time your fish when you got slack on your line, uh, always keep pushing shift and keep reeling. So I never stop. It looks really strange, it looks really crazy, but you need to do that. Uh, that's one of the things that, uh, that I always do. Always shift and keep reeling. The whole time you keep reeling, you never stop. Because the main problem is with pike, you see it a lot, they go away, they turn with their head, and on that moment you got slack. If you're not reeling, you lose that fish. With the trout, it's a little bit less, but I always keep reeling. That's my tip number five. Then number six. Very important, I already said it in my carp video. If you're fighting a fish, don't do this. Don't go behind them like this with shift. Why? I will show you guys it. So, once again, an example. So, check this. So, I'm now standing here. So, my line is now, yeah, straight. I got pressure on my line. What happens if you run to a fish? Check. Slack. Do you see it? All the slack? On this moment, you lose the fish. So never run in the direction with your rod to the fish. What you need to do is you need to do it like this. So if you're stand here, you need to do it like this. Side steps and keep reeling, of course. That's the best. Don't you shift. Never you shift if you go behind the fish. The chance is way too big that you lose a fish. So what I do the whole time is I keep reeling and I do small steps. And once again, sideways. So always be sure that you got your... That you pull from the side and never in the front. Because if you run in the front, you're going to lose a fish. That are my six tips, guys. Uh, it works really well for me. Of course, I'm very sure of it. There are other stuff that you can do to prevent it. Uh, another thing that I cannot confirm is food. For the guys that don't know, I, I most of the time never use food. So I just get my food bar full, my energy bar full, but I never eat during a fight. I never drink tea during a fight, never uh, get coffee during a fight, never. I don't do that. I cannot confirm when your energy is low that you got more chance to lose a fish. Because I don't have it. Why I'm not using food? For the simple reason that the fight is going to be a little bit longer. It can take 5 to 10 minutes longer. Uh, I cannot speak for a catfish, but that's a broken fish, you know, that's not fishing, that's just pulling a rock in. And the thing is, um, I think it's a waste of money, in my opinion. Uh, therefore, I'm not using it. So, I cannot confirm that food uh, is going to lose your fish. I cannot confirm you that. I can only say the six tips that I just said to you guys. Try it out, check it out. And uh, I think you guys are going to get a lot of more fishing. So that was it for the guide, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, give me a like. If you like my show, subscribe, please. Have fun, because I'm going now to this lake. So I'm going to upload a video, uh, I hope, this evening. If my uh, baby boy is sleeping about Sura River, uh, I'm going to make parts two. Uh, on each species in that lake, because we got eight new species. And that was it for this video, guys. See you guys later. Bye-bye.